Calais, on the Atlantic coast, stepping off point for the British Isles. At every airport, the procedure is the same. The ground crew are always there first. When the ship comes in, they pull the ropes together. But each of these modern nomads has a trade. Aircraft and truck mechanics, riggers, electronics experts, clerks, all hand-picked from the countries that Europa visits. A mixture of men, of skills, of languages. The trucks are their travelling workshops, and the coach a mobile office. Another day, another flag, another country. The advance party caught the ferry to England yesterday, and now it's Europa's turn to prepare herself. There are only some 25 airship pilots in the world, and they'll tell you, Flying airships isn't easy. Europa is fully equipped for instrument flight, and each of her five pilots qualified on aeroplanes before starting his six months airship training. A delicate calculation must be made before she leaves the ground, especially on cross-country flights. The airship has to be weighed off, so that when she lands, she will be the correct weight. Taking off heavy, she lumbers along like an aircraft using aerodynamic lift. An ungainly but gentle giant. In a matter of minutes, everything is in the vehicles, and the convoy is on its way. flies from registered airfields. It's the PR man's responsibility to set up a reception area and to receive the passengers. Each year, more than 8,000 passengers enjoy the thrill of an airship flight. As the land falls away, you enter another world. With the eyes of the airship, 
you see your town as if for the first time. If you're very lucky, you may even spot your home. From a ship of air to a ship of iron. The sharp lines of the museum-bound hull of the world's first ocean-going iron ship contrast with the softness of the ship of rubber drifting through the air above her. The schedule, routes, flight plans and even passenger lists is planned months in advance. Before every flight, the pilots have a thorough briefing. Passenger operations are only part of her program. With her low speed and maneuverability, she's the perfect vehicle for aerial surveys, monitoring air pollution over London, for example. With the seats removed and special equipment installed, she's an excellent flying laboratory. As a public service vehicle, she has a variety of uses. Traffic observation, town planning, archaeological surveys. But whatever's happening in the control car, to those on the ground, it's all the same. It's the blimp. <laughs> 